Okay? So, hello. For today, we will discuss about the estimation of the square root of a whole number. Now, before we go to the estimation, we first give definition to square root. What is square root? Okay? A square root of a number is a value that when you multiply by itself, gives the number. Like for example, 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now, the square root of 4 is 2. Like for example, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Why? Because in getting the square root, you think of a number that if you will multiply to itself, okay, it will give the answer of the number inside the radical. Like for example, 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. That is why the square root of 4 is 2. Okay? Next, suppose we have the square root of 9. Okay? Square root of 9. What are the numbers that if we multiply to itself, the answer will be 9. We have 3. Okay? 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9, meaning the square root of 9 is 3. Suppose to be we have 16. Okay? 16. What about if it is 16? Okay, 16. What is the number that if I will multiply to itself, the answer will be 16? Okay? So answer may be, it is 4. 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, meaning the square root of 16 is 4. So that is a square root. Now, in a square root, there are perfect squares. Okay? That if you will get a square root of that whole number, it is a whole number also, not a decimal. So, again, so the perfect squares, okay, so we have 2 times 2, we have 4, 3 times 3, we have 9, 4 times 4, we have 16. What else? There is the perfect square, 5 times 5, it is 25. What else? 6 times 6, it is 36. They are the perfect mm -hmm. squares. What else? 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8, we have 64. 9 times 9, we have 81. 10 times 10, we have 100. 11 times 11, we have 121. 12 times 12, we have 144. And so forth and so on. Dire direction na 12, 12, 12 times 12, 13 times 13, 14 times 14, 15 times 15. They are the perfect squares. Okay? Now, what do we call again this symbol? This symbol, this is a square root. We call this symbol as a square root or symbol of a square root, which is a radical. If we say radical, a radical is one, the square root symbol. Okay? This is a radical. What kind of radical? Square root. Like that. We have example. This radical, we have 3 here. It is cube root. We have a radical here, we have 4. This is 4th root. Then we have here 5. This is 5th root. Okay? They are radical symbols. Okay? So radical, if it is a square root, we have the number here is 2. But no need to write. Because it is a square, meaning it is 2. Ready? Square root. But if it is cube root, you need to write the number 3. 4, 5, cube root, 4th root, 5th root, 6th root, 7th root, 8th root, like that. Now, we know now the perfect squares. The perfect squares are 2 times 2, 1 times 1, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6. Now, also class, don't forget, in getting the square root, we have also, don't forget the multiplication of integer. If you multiply positive to a positive, the answer is positive. Meaning, in getting the square root, we have positive and negative value. Suppose we have positive 4. Okay, we said a while ago that what we will think for a number, example, is 2. Okay, the number is 2. So, meaning we have the square root of 4 is 2. And it is positive, negative. Don't forget. Meaning, this positive, negative is 2 and negative 2 are the square root of 4. Okay, a while ago, I just uh, talk about the positive value, okay? But always there is also a relative value because positive two times positive two is four. Negative two times negative two is four. Like for example, the square root of nine, and then answer is positive negative 
we have 3. It is equal to okay, 3 and negative 3, like that. Okay? Don't forget that one. Now, that you know now the concept, concept of the square root, and we know now the perfect squares, we, we now go to the estimation of a number or of a number that is not a perfect square. Like for example, what are the numbers? We have 5. What else? 7. Square root of 7. Square root of 8. Square root of 10. Square root of 12. Square root of 15. Square root of 27. Square root of like that. They are also a whole number. Now, but we know that even though they are a whole number, if you will get the square root, we know that it is not a perfect or a whole number. It is a decimal. So that is what we will talk right now about estimation of the square root of not a perfect square or a whole number which is not a perfect square. Okay, so let's go first to the simpler way of estimating. Suppose we have the square root of 10. Okay, square root of 10. Now, square root of 10 is not a perfect square or 10 is not a perfect square. So we know that the square root of this one is a uh, decimal number. And then we don't know how to get it. So we will get our calculator and just input the square root of 10. The answer is there already. But what if you don't have a calculator? Okay, Manually, you will do it. So how will you do it? Okay, estimate. Let us estimate. So you think of a number or a perfect square that is before and after 10. Okay, what are the numbers that are perfect square that before and number 10? Okay, so we have, for example, before. That is the before perfect square that uh, near 10. We have 9. 9 is a perfect square. Why? Because 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 here. Okay? And then which is less than? Mas malaki to. Ngayon, ito naman. Ano naman yung susunod kay 10 na perfect square? 3 times 3 is 9. Of course, yung susunod is 4. 4 times 4, it is 16. Okay. Now, the square root of 9, we have, it is 3. The square root of 16, it is 4. Okay. And then, it's less than, less than the square root of 10. And it's also less than to the 4. Okay. Meaning, the square root of 10 is in between... 3 and 4. So this is now our estimation. You can say that the square root of 10 is between 3 and 4. Now, what is that between 3 and 4? We know that it is maybe 3.1, 3.2, or it is a decimal number. 3.3, 3.4, until 3.9. Like that. So the estimation, you can write it like that, but depending on the instruction. What if they, they need you to write for the exact, or not, not actually exact, at least two decimal point or one decimal point? Okay, what will you do? So you can say you can do trial and error. You can say, three, for example, the square root of 10, I can say 3.1, maybe 3.1. I will try because I am doing trial and error. So 3.1 times 3.1, let me see, 1 times 1, it is 1, 1 times 3, it is 3, 3 times 1, it is 3, and then 3 times 3 is 9, so then add 1, then 3 plus 3, we have 6, and then we have 9. Okay, how many decimal? 1, 2, 1, 2. We have 9.61. Oh, so we have 3.1 times 3.1, we have 9.61. Now, this 9.61 is near square root of 10. So, oh, what if I will make it uh, 3.2? 3.2, I will write 3.2. 3.2 times 3.2. Okay? How will you, so you just multiply 2 times 2, we have 4. 2 times 3, we have 6. 3 times 2, we have 6 again. 3 times 3, we have 9. Okay? Add. So you add, answer. Okay? So we have 2 times 2, which is 4, we have 4, we down 4, and then 6 plus 6, we have 12, 2, carry 1, then we have 1 plus 9, it is 10. Meaning it is 10, and then how many decimal? 1, 2, so we have 
1, 2, it is 10.24. So meaning, lumagpas na siya kapag 3.2. Kulang naman siya kapag 3.1. Meaning, itong 3.1 na to, ito, pwede mong dagdagan 3.1, mag-isip ka ng number, pwede 3.12 or 3.123. Mga ganon, because you are estimating. Pwede po yan. Pwede po yan. Pero sabi nga, pwede na itong estimation na to. Ngayon, depende kasi kapag kailangan talaga ng decimal, pwede mong gawin ito trial and error. Okay lang yan. Walang problema dyan. Okay? Here, there is another method or a technique. Or I don't know what is the name of this method, but it is also, uh, it is malapit sa katotohanan or it is an estimation or approximately malapit talaga sa square root of any number. Okay? Ito siya. Okay? Kung ayaw nyo mag-trial in error, pwede ninyo ang gawin ito. Ang gawin ninyo, ulitin natin. So, di ba yung kinukuha natin is square root of 10? Okay? Ang gawin mo, ano yung number na perfect square na before kay 10? We have, ano yung number? We have 9, di ba? And then, kahit yan lang. Then, ang gawin mo, kunin mo yung square root. Because this is a perfect square, we know that the square root of 9, it is 3. Okay? Next, itong 3 na ito, merong decimal dito, which is a fraction. So, paano mo gagawin? Buka ng fraction dito. Next, ito, yung square root na ito, yung square root mo, yung before, yung perfect square, isubtract mo siya kahit yung number na, yung kinukuha na ng square root kay 10. Ibig sabihin, 10 minus 9, answer is 1. And then, itong sagot mo na ito, dito, sa base na ito, i-times 2 mo siya. Doblehin mo. Like for example, this is 3, so doblehin mo, magiging 6. Or 3 times 2, it is 6. Ito siya. Ibig sabihin, 3 and 1, 6. Now, kunin mo na ngayon yung decimal point or decimal number na 1 over 6. You copy 3, then what is the decimal number of 1 over 6? Divide natin. Okay, 1, 6. So because 6 is greater than 1, 0. And then don't forget the decimal, a line. 10 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 6, answer 6, and it is 4. Another, bring down 0. So we have 40. 40 divided by 6, we have 6. 6 times 6, we have 36. So meaning, another 4. Meaning this is 1.6. Six, six. Okay, like that. Now, we just get the second decimal. Second decimal. So, we have 3.16. Okay? 3, 3.16. Okay? Okay, kunin lang natin yung, yung two decimal. And then, don't round it off. Just get the decimal. Ito siya, 0.16. So, meaning it is this one. 3.16. Okay, so 3.16 now is the square root of, or the approximate square root of, the, or the estimated square root of, square root of 10. Without using calculator, that is it. Another example, okay? Suppose we have square root of what? The mean, 55, for example. Square root of 55. 55 is not a perfect square. Now, I told you, you think of a number or the uh, before 55, which is, a, which is a perfect square. What is that? We have 49. Very good. We have 49. And 49, get the square root of 49. We have 49. We have 7 times 7 is 49. That's why the square root of 49 is 7. Next, subtract. 55 minus 49. Answer? Very good. We have 6. Okay? Next. Over. Next, sabi ko sa inyo, yung sagot dito, yung square root of 49, which is 7, ang gawin mo, you double it. You multiply it by 2. At you have 7 times 2, we have 14. So now, the answer is 7 is 6 all over 14. Pero you convert it to decimal. Kasi, square root yan. So you convert it to decimal. The answer is 7. Then get the decimal of 6 over 14. 
you have 6 divided by 14. Okay, next. Baru 0, kaya naging 60, 60 divided by 14, we have 4. Okay, 4 times 4, we have 16, 1, 4 times 1, 4, 5. Let's subtract, 60 minus 56, we have 4. And down 0, 14 divided by 14, we have 2. 2 times 4, 8. And 2 times 14, we have 28. Then subtract, we have 2 and 3, we have 12. 12 is less than 1. Now, because we are approximating, class, approximate lang po yung kinukuha natin. So, okay na po ito. High to decimal point lang. Okay, okay na yan. Malapit na yan sa katotohanan. So, just get this two decimal point, add it here. Point 42. So, 7.42 now is the square root or approximated or estimated square root of 55. Okay? And that's it. So, thank you very much. And thank you very much. I hope you learned something through watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.